Jeff Jacobs has been a carpenter for more than 30 years. Now he spends much of his time on his hobby, carving birds from a block of wood without a drop of glue. 25 years ago, a Michigan lover taught him how to do it. Wet wood will yield and bend without breaking. And that's what I'm counting on here. Actually, he's counting on many good things. Wood, mostly white cedar, a good initial cut of the bird's profile. Patient carving that gives shape to what look like feathers and then his least favorite part, sanding. Well, I guess sometimes to get what you like takes a little work. After sanding, he concentrates on the feathers. This is the critical part. This is where you realize you've either, you got a nice bird or you wasted your time. As many as 50 slices of wood could emerge from this small block. But before the slices become feathers, he wets the wood for at least an hour. Once it's soaked, he begins to fan the wings and weave them. If there are enough slices, he will make a tail. This is the part that fascinates people watching it the most, just what I'm doing now, fanning it. Once the bird is dry, Jacob dips it in lacquer. I like to see him up in the air like that. He takes the birds to flea markets like this one in the Virginia suburbs of Washington, D.C. There he explains the process of making traditional fan birds, and he sells each one for about $50. René Laws was visiting from North Carolina. I like the birds. They're very pretty. It's a unique product. But his greatest admirer is Jennifer. Her parents sell their products right next to Jacob's. Jennifer has learned to draw on wood and identify the best birds. While other artists produce larger birds, flowers and figures, Jacobs is sticking with small birds, mostly hummingbirds. See, he looks like he's flying through the yard. Although he's made several hundreds, he's still intent on making more, making them perfect and able to fly. Well, almost. This is Sulima Palacio, VOA News, Arlington, Virginia.